It's time to discuss creating features. We'll start with the extrude command. Click on the extrude command in the toolbar, the extrude dialog appears. From here you can choose from a few different things that you want to extrude. For example, I can select the entire sketch from the feature list or I can select individual shaded regions from within that sketch. You also have the option of skipping the sketch altogether and clicking on any existing face to define your extrude. Once you have defined what you want to extrude, you will need to set the depth. Onshape has a full list of end conditions which we will be covering in more detail in the future. The important end condition to know as you are getting started is blind. The blind end condition will extrude in a single direction the amount you specify. You can flip the direction of the extrude by clicking the opposite direction arrow in the dialog. Below the depth, you have options to specify a direction, create an offset from the start of the extrude, make the extrude symmetric, add draft to your extrude, or add a second end position. Enabling direction allows you to define the extrude angle using sketch lines, edges, or faces of a part, mate connectors, or even planes. Starting offset allows you to set a distance away from the selected sketch or face of the extrude. This creates a gap between the selection and where the extrude begins. The starting offset bound can be set to blind using a specified depth, or it can be set to an entity that can be selected. Reverse the offset direction with the opposite direction arrow. Symmetric extrudes the depth in both directions equally, meaning if my extrude depth is 30 millimeters, it will extrude 15 millimeters in each direction. Draft is available within the extrude dialog. Define its angle value and set the direction by toggling the opposite direction arrow. A second end position is useful if you want to extrude in both directions, but with different distances. Another important note about the extrude command is you can dynamically resize the depth of the extrude by dragging the manipulator. Simply left click drag the arrow and your feature will resize live. You can also scroll up or down while hovering over the dimension to change its value. Like many things in Onshape, we've tried to simplify the interface but still give you a lot of power. For example, you won't find separate command in the toolbar for creating an extruded cut. This is simply one of the Boolean options available in the extrude command. Another example of this is the surface and thin extrude options at the top of the extrude feature dialog. Let's take a look at the thin extrude option. To create a thin extrude, select the option at the top of the extrude feature dialog. Notice, thin extrude has the same Boolean options as a solid extrude, along with the same end type and available settings. To define a thin extrude, select a sketch entity, sketch region, or face. When selecting a face, the outline of that face is extruded. Define the thin extrude wall thickness with direction 1 and direction 2. These directions add material to the outside and inside of the selected entity. Direction 1 and direction 2 can be reversed with the opposite direction button, except the thin extrude. This video discussed the basics of creating a solid and thin extrude feature. We'll be covering both the Boolean options and on shapes surfacing commands in the future.